everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea and it's nice to have you guys here. So those who've watched my Playbox unboxings before know that I don't just do the unboxing, I also review the products from the previous month's box. And I got a little bit behind on that, so that's kind of what this is. A bit of a rewind and review and get us all caught up so that when uh, the favorite box arrives, we're back on track. So I've got the 10 products that I need to share my thoughts on. So starting with November, I looked at the, in the Sephora app, you can click on the play box and see what all the past products were. And I swear the Glam Glow was part of November and it's not showing on there. And it's only showing four products and there are always five. So I know this came in a play box and I'm pretty sure it's November and I know I didn't give you my thoughts on this because I was saving it for the trip. Um, so we'll start with that one. It was okay. It wasn't terrible, but I know this is fairly expensive and I just didn't feel like it did that much. It was a little tingly, like there was mint or menthol or something in it. But that wasn't unpleasant, it just was a bit tingly at first until it started to dry. But it's very messy. I recommend, and thankfully I had gotten the tip to put this on before taking a shower and then wash it off in the shower. And that was definitely the way to go. It would have been a nightmare to take this off at the sink and probably would have destroyed a washcloth. <laughs> so I have other clay masks that I like and that I prefer and that are much cheaper. So this one you're definitely paying for the hype and the status, you know, it's, it's glam glow, everyone talks about it, but I personally don't think it's really worth it. Another one that I'm just not quite sure it's worth from November was the Dissolve the Drama 2-in-1 Makeup Remover and Cleanser by the Estee Edit. This is okay, and I'll use it up. I've only used it a couple of times, and I just wasn't wowed by it. But again, it takes a lot for me to really love anything skincare or cleanser related because I love what I already use. It is kind of, it is an oil of some kind and that's how it feels. You pour some into your hands and massage it onto your face dry. You don't add water to it at first and that breaks up the, wa the makeup and then you rinse it off. When I used it, it was before taking a shower, and so I rinsed it off in the shower. It definitely removes the makeup. It's got four out of five stars on Sephora. I, I think if you're looking for something that does some double duty, that will take your makeup off, this did take my makeup off pretty well. I, I think there are certain circumstances where I could see myself using a product like this and really loving it. Like if I went to a gym after work and I wanted to carry an, an easy cleanser in my bag, this would be great. But I don't go to a gym. I mean, my gym is here at my apartment complex, so I don't, I can just wash my face here and then go over to the gym. So for me, this doesn't really fit my life, but it did feel good. It was very easy to use. So this was okay. I, I'd probably give this, uh, for what it does, yeah, four out of five stars makes sense. It's just it doesn't fit my life, if that makes sense. So that's why I'm not raving about it. Another product from the November box is the Cover FX Illuminating Primer. <sighs> I'm not in a good position to judge this. I don't like illuminating primers to begin with. I don't feel like they really work. I mean, I don't understand if you're using a full coverage foundation, wouldn't it cover up an illuminating primer? I suppose if you just use tinted moisturizer, this would work great. This might work okay on its own. I've never really tried that because I'm just kind of an all or nothing person. Like either I'm wearing a full face of makeup or I'm not, but even just putting it on the back of my hand, I don't see that it's doing anything that spectacular. I think the illuminating primer is a bit of a dud. When it comes to cover effects primers, I much prefer the mattifying primer with salicylic acid that I do use regularly and I have repurchased that one. This one, not so much. The two hits from the November box were the Sephora Collection Ultra Shine Lip Gel, and this is in pinup pink. 
I absolutely love this. I love, 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 love this. It just gives me such a really nice pop of color because my lips naturally don't have that much pigment to them so if I don't wear any lip product at all I look a little bit dead. So this avoids that and um, so I'll put this on like I'll, on days that I go to physical therapy I'll just do mascara and some of this and I'm good to go. It's very hydrating, it stays on a good amount of time, I'm not feeling like my lips are drying out and I have to constantly reapply this. So love it. The weird thing is I think you need to kind of test out the different colors in the store because I did order a full size of another color. I think it was candy apple red or something like that thinking you know a little bit of a red would be kind of pretty and there was like no pigment to that one. So this one seemed like it had a good amount of pigment and that one seemed like it had none so and I just haven't made it back to the store and been thinking about these to swatch some of the other colors but I would like to because the formula is really great and super comfortable and I'm just waving this around. The last product from November that was a winner is the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Color in Rose Gold. I absolutely love this. I use it quite frequently. It's just a really beautiful wash of color. This is so great for days that I want to look like I've made an effort but I don't have a lot of time. I'll just put this over my eyelids, kind of blend and smudge it out. The light color just makes them look, makes my eyes look so much more awake. I'll slap some mascara on and I'm good to go. These are $29 full price. I would probably pay full price. I don't think I would buy one in every color, but I probably would buy one or two other colors. So, and they seem to last a while. I mean, I've used this quite a few times and I feel like I still have, I still have quite a bit left. I'm not even twisting it all the way up. I don't want it to, I don't want it to break. So it lasts a lot. This was a hit. And then in December, I got the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. This is a smoothing primer. It does the job, but it's $37 for a full price. I, I'm not that wild on primers to begin with. There are other primers that I like a bit better. A little overpriced, in my opinion. Another dud from December, not a total dud, the Detox Dry Shampoo from Dry Bar. I like the size of this, but obviously if you're buying the full price, you're buying the full size. <laughs> I like Batiste better, to be honest, and I know it's a lot cheaper. I wasn't that wild about the smell. The smell's not that great to me, and it's very strong when you use it. And this one also has a white cast, which dark brown hair, white cast, not that great. I was able to get it out you know, by really massaging it, but, and the smell, it's just so strong. Yeah, I just wasn't that wowed by it. But there were three other products in December that I was wowed by. One of them was the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I absolutely loved this. I used this throughout all of my London trip. I don't usually use setting sprays. I'm not usually that fussed about setting my makeup, but I knew that spending a whole day walking around London. I wanted to make sure my makeup stayed in place, so I tried this and it. I can see why people rave about this. It really did work. I would put my makeup on in the hotel in the morning and I'd spray this on and by the end of the evening, not that my makeup looked flawless, but it, it had stayed in place and it it looked as worn as I would have kind of expected it to be, but it still looked good and still looked presentable. It's not touch proof, so if you spend the day kind of, you know, doing this, you know, with your nose, you're gonna not have any foundation left on your nose. But in terms of places like my cheeks where the blusher it was, places where I'm not frequently touching my face, my skin, my makeup looked great. So. I like this. The next test for this will be in the summer when it gets really hot and if this will keep my makeup from melting off my face. Another favorite was the Cream Lip Stain by Sephora Collection. This little itty bitty mini. I I loved this. I wore this quite frequently throughout December. You'll have seen me wearing this in a lot of the Vlogmas vlogs and I also wore it a couple times in London. It's bright red. It's a true red. Sometimes reds either go orange or they go berry, but this stayed true red. It's $14 for a full size. 
So the price of it is really good. It's enough, it's low enough that I would consider buying one or two other colors. It's super long wearing and almost no transfer, especially if you really let it set before you try drinking anything. And it's surprisingly comfortable. I do put a little bit of lip balm on underneath and let that kind of get absorbed into the skin and then I put into my lips and then I put this on. But yeah, I was really surprised. As someone who really hates liquid lipsticks and how drying they can be, I was impressed that not only did I get on so well with this and do I did I like this, but that I am also considering buying other colors. That's saying a lot. And then the last thing is the Bobby, Bobby Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. If you remember watching that video when I unboxed these, um, it's got just a nice standard bristle brush. I had already been using a tube of this that had come in the Lash Stash to go set and loved it. I just started using it like a week or so before the December box arrived and I just absolutely loved this mascara and was dreading running through the sample. So when I opened up the December box and saw that I had gotten another sample size of this, I was ecstatic. I was so happy because it really is one of the best mascaras I have found in a very long time. Bear in mind, I do use Latisse, so my, my lashes are longer and a little bit thicker than the average person's, but I feel like even without Latisse, it volumizes without clumping, it lengthens, it separates and defines, and it just, it makes your lashes look the best they possibly can be, while still looking really natural, but yet, yeah, I just, I, I, I don't know how to describe it, but I just love, love, love this mascara. Full price, it's $30. I would pay that. I would pay that for a full price. I love this. This is up there now with my top favorite mascaras. So that's the review on the last couple months of Playbox items that I have not been able to review yet. I will insert the clip of me opening the... January box here, but it's play box time. But it felt weird to open this not on camera because I've opened every box of these on camera. So let's open up the box. Okay, January 2017, Beauty Set Go. Ooh, they're changing changing up the box or the bag just a little bit. It's I'm trying not to look because it's mesh in the back so I can see through it this time, but it's like a nylon gym bag kind of material. Sweat is just another way to glow. I like that. And this bag will probably come in very handy. I'm loving the bright neon orange. That's a lot of fun. So, going in. Uh, fragrance. Uh, ooh, another Tory Burch one. I got a Tory Burch in... November, I think. So Love Relentlessly is the um, fragrance. So I'll look up the notes for that in a second when I look at the sheet. So, okay. A more Pacific Color Control Cushion Compact Tan Blush and Almond Blush. So it's a CC cream. We'll look that up in a second. Ooh, Way Hair Care Treatment Mask. Looks nice. I really loved the Wave Spray by this brand, so I'm excited to try the treatment mask. And then three more things. Youth to the People Age Prevention Moisture Cream. Kale and Spinach Green Tea Hyaluronic Acid. Okay, interesting. With, you know, kale and spinach and green tea, I would have expected some kind of fragrance, but I'm not getting anything. But sometimes that's even better. And then last two items. Clinique. First Clinique item that we've been given. Black Honey is the shade, so... Ooh, it's a lip. That's really dark. Okay, so it's a tinted... tinted moisturizer. Tinted lip balm, probably. And then the last thing. Tarte Friction Stick. Okay, we're gonna have to look that up. I have no idea what that is. And it's it's clear, it's black, but it's coming up clear. So let's, okay, let's look at the, let's look at the information. <laughs> okay, so the fragrance, floral, top note pink pepper, middle note, orris root, base note patchouli. Okay, 
So that sounds interesting. And then this is CC cream. So the applicator must be in this thing. And then you've got two different colors. The Clinique Sheer Lip Color with a Glossy Finish in the best-selling Cult Classic Black Honey Shade. This wearable, goes with anything lip product, blends the format and color of a lipstick with the formula and hydration of a gloss. Swipe it on, no mirror necessary to give your lips a fresh, healthy look. So that sounds interesting. The Treatment Mask. Depending on how dry your hair is, the entire bottle may be used for one treatment. That will probably be me, just because of how long it is. Smooth evenly through the hair before showering, leave in for 5 to 10 minutes, and rinse off. And then this is just apply to face and neck during your morning or evening skincare routine. The Friction Stick Exfoliating Gel Cleanser in a unique twist-up stick format, format transforms from a solid gel to a cleansing lather that gently sloughs away impurities. Hmm. Swipe directly onto damp skin in circular motions. With your fingertips, massage into a lather and rinse thoroughly. Use, up, use two to three times per week. Pro tip, purify and revitalize it by leaving this cleanser on as a 10 minute mask. So that'll be interesting. Yeah, okay, so I need to look up, I need to go get my phone so I can look all of these up and see what the ingredients are so that hopefully there's none that I can't use. Okay, so I've taken a look at everything on the app and it's all paraben free, which is really exciting. So now I will probably go back to whatever I was already doing in this video where I'm inserting this footage because I have no idea what I'm doing. So yeah, we'll go back to future, future me or something like that. Yeah. Weird. Now we should be caught up. <laughs> so I will be receiving the February box soon. I should be able to have the February box up. And then I will include in that the review for the January products. As you saw, there were some interesting products in there. If you have tried any of these products, let me know what you think and if you like them and if you've had different responses to them than I have. So definitely leave me a comment below or just say hi. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you are not subscribed and I will see you all very soon in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.